Okay, so to fasten the uh, filler neck and the vent lines to the, the trunk wall, you'll see uh, what we're doing here is we've used two three-quarter inch insulated clamps and then um, the larger one, which I believe is one and five eighths for the um, filler neck. You can see it's called out as the COL26 and then uh, the three quarters are COL12 um, and you'll notice that the filler neck and then the rear uh, vent line are fastened into the trunk wall uh, with the same screw and then in the front side here the other vent uh, is its, has its own dedicated self-tapping screw. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you're uh, locating them as far to the back of the car as possible without you know stressing the lines or kinking the lines so that they're out of the way of the shock. Um, the other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that the, the screw is low enough because as you can see here the uh, floor and the wall um, are at obviously different heights since the, the wall sits on top of the floor and uh, if you set the screw too high uh, because of the length of the screw it might just kind of dimple the inside of the wall so you want to make sure that you're going into the angle aluminum and uh, into the, the floor versus into the wall so that way it doesn't come through the other side it won't dimple the other side and then once you, you do that you can then connect them up to the, the filler neck here